Hey guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thank you for joining in. I hope you subscribe and stick around. If you are a subscriber, thanks so much for sticking with me. Today is going to be um, number two on the Realty Series. I wanted to come back on here and share some more information with you guys. Um, number one is actually going to be just like a little reminder. I don't know if I mentioned this on, on YouTube yet, but every Thursday I will be bringing specialized tips on my Instagram for my real estate page. I'll leave it right here. So if you're not following me on Instagram for my real estate page, please go do that. Um, um, these tips are going to be really helpful to anybody looking to change their living situation, not just buying or selling their home that they own, um, but also renting and how to get in a position to invest in real estate because let's face it, there's only so much land they're not making any more. So you might want to buy in, invest, and just... I promise you the benefits will be there. Um, speaking of benefits, today's um, Realty Series is really going to be the benefits of home ownership because not all of us know that. Um, I do know that in the past year, it has finally been decided that millennials are buying homes. I think I remember reading an article or two previous to last year um, where it was saying that we weren't buying homes, that we weren't jumping off that edge into home ownership because it makes sense. Um, but I'm just here to put you guys at ease a little bit. This one's going to be a quick one. Um, but let's just do the basics, the basics of real estate. Let's do real estate 101 today. So we'll go over um, just some benefits of home ownership. If you have any questions with those, hopefully I can answer you um, with this little overview I'm gonna do. I do have some materials here in my lovely informational packet. If you would like one of these, I am more than willing to ship you one. So leave a comment down below and I will ship you one of these lovely packets. This is just a little bit of the information in here. I will be adding other stuff as I come across it to it. Um, don't leave your address below. Um, leave a comment below saying that you're interested and then you can DM me um, or email me your private information. And that way I can get this information to you either digitally or if you want the actual packet so you can take notes and you can keep it and file it away or whatever you want to do with it, we can do that. So the six benefits of home ownership. I have them here and we're just going to do a little review. There are several other benefits to home ownership. Obviously, these are gonna just tie into some of the main points here, okay? But as you probably are wondering, why is this an investment? Why do people call it an investment? Will I get like return out of it? You know, is it an investment? Is it a risk right now? Those type of things. So not only is this automatically gonna prove to make you happy, I mean, it's a proven fact that when you buy anything that you're proud of, you're going to be happy. Um, your family's going to be happy. Not only is that one benefit, but it's probably the most important benefit. I mean, I feel like we shouldn't make any decision in life, especially a drastic decision without it being proven to bring us happiness. <laughs> so, um, I definitely think that's a, a good benefit to have. Um, so making it your own is also a part of happiness benefit because a lot of times when we rent places, we can't really personalize it too much because it's not our property. Um, so that's just automatically one benefit of home ownership. I remember when I was younger, I always, like I mentioned, loved interior design. So um, every time we would have a new space, me and my mom, and we would be renting. I was like, mom, did you ask the landlord if I can paint, <laughs> paint the walls? Did you ask if I could do this? Like there was always a checklist. If ever we moved, you know, what can Taylor do to this house? <laughs> like it was a, a known thing that Taylor's gonna wanna customize and change this house in some way, shape or form. So you don't have to ask any questions. You can do just about whatever you want to. Now the exterior, if you have an HOA or anything like that, then you obviously would have to just make sure you're in those guidelines. Um, but that's also what someone like me can help you figure out is if you're in an HOA, if you are in a um, subdivision that is pretty strict about their exterior, then we can figure out what those things are and make sure you um, your wants are fall within those approved items um, before you buy. 
Um, and then also just the roots, the roots of owning something, the roots of being able to own something and pass it down to your family if, if you want, or if this is for sure your starter home, you could even, you know, think about just fixing it up, getting a fixer up. And one of my best friends, Stephanie, is awesome at this. She had a vision for this small little house she found and that she was going to invest her time, energy, and money into fixing this house into exactly what she would have wanted um, had it been, you know, her second purchase. So that is just so fulfilling for her. Um, she's always so joyful when she talks about it. And anybody who has ever visited her home knows that she's put so much love into it. It just makes it so much more special to call it your own because you're, you can show the work you put into it and you, you've made it yours. Um, and for her, she's made it just about any Anybody who loves, what's um, what's that show? Chip and Joanna Gaines, you're gonna love Stephanie's house. Like she has it completely modern, rustic chic. Um, <laughs> that's her vibe. Um, and so she is, you know, she's been doing this for a few years now and now she's ready to sell. And she's going to capitalize on her investment. Just the roots that you have, something of your own, something you can give your family or something you can work on for the next family and make it perfect for them. I mean, it, it doesn't go with unnoticed when someone has put in the time to make a home feel like a home. Um, and it's a proven fact that people who own homes are four times like more likely to stay in that home than renters, obviously. For renters, you have to deal with other things like your lease termination and re lease renewal and, and things of that nature. So putting down roots is quite literal when you own. You're more than likely going to stay a little bit longer. And so I don't know about you, but I hate moving. <laughs> so I think that sounds like a good idea. Um, sort of what I just mentioned about Stephanie investing in her home, the equity of that house. The equity of that house and the appreciation of that house that are two other benefits um, that will automatically come with home ownership. Um, you, as you are paying off this mortgage or depending on how you actually purchase the home, you will have equity in that house, which means that um, renters and ownership side by side. When you are renting, you aren't getting closer to achieving ownership of anything. Just like um, if you are leasing a car, uh, you know that you are doing a lease for 36 months or whatever it is and at the end of that term you are to be given like the car back um, you don't own it um, so with that you don't really have any equity you're paying a hundred percent interest basically you, you are literally renting for a limited time or a limited you know period of time something that, that someone else owns um, <clears throat> but when you own your home and let's say a mortgage is in place then you are able to pay your mortgage payment a certain percentage goes to that interest and a certain percentage goes towards the principal everything that you pay off in that principal eventually will build up the equity of what you truly own would be the principal that you've paid off with your hard-earned money and that is your equity in the home now appreciation home values have a well-documented history of going up over time um, this increase becomes equity you can benefit from when you refinance or sell. So appreciation ties into equity as well. So that's an example of how appreciation and equity works and why there are two extremely big benefits of home ownership. So when you hear me say investment, those are the two things that I'm really referring to. So we're close to tax time. Tax savings can also be a benefit for home ownership because just like, um, I don't know if you're like me and have student loans, when you pay these student loans every month, you're paying off interest in principle. Um, everything that you pay towards the interest, you can report on your taxes just like you do with student loans and it, it can help your, your tax income um, or what you may owe at the end of that tax season so um, that can also be a benefit for you um, lastly and this ties back to family but did you know that children of homeowners in that stable home environment um, in the longevity of that home environment actually test 
better. They have higher scores when it comes to um, their education. So they have higher test scores and a bigger percentage of graduating and following through on their education goals. So that's a little bit of a benefit obviously if you have a family and you are just wanting to know how this would affect them that's definitely a benefit and those are the six benefits of home ownership i hope that was informative um, or i hope you enjoyed this episode and keep me in mind for anyone you have in north dfw <laughs> dfw dfw north dallas um if you have anyone that needs help when it comes to the real estate, um, leasing, owning, selling. I appreciate your time. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.